Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and another Myth May episode. Today, I want to go over bug bites. A lot of people will approach me and they'll say, I'm getting bit when I'm asleep. I think I have bed bugs. In fact, I'm sure I have bed bugs. I've ruled everything out. I know it's bed bugs. I've had exterminators come over. They tell me I have bed bugs. Although they haven't found any bed bugs, and I haven't found any bed bugs, I'm getting bit when I'm asleep. I must have bed bugs. So I'm going to approach this from okay, lots of bugs will bite you when you're asleep. Spiders will bite you when you're asleep. Fleas will bite you when you're asleep. Mosquitoes will bite you when you're asleep. Noceums, which are a type of very teeny tiny small biting fly same treatment as mosquitoes, will bite you while you're asleep. Lots of bugs will bite you when you're asleep. If you have no signs in your home that you have bed bugs, then how do you know you have bed bugs? How does the exterminator know you have bed bugs? All they're going on is bites. Now, there are some telltale signs that you have bed bug bites. They'll leave three, four bites in a row or a cluster of bites because what happens is when a bed bug bites you they don't get a full blood meal because they're sloppy eaters and so they'll fall off the way i explain it to people i was like if you go to like the buffet like country cooking or golden corral or somebody like that and you're eating out at the buffet and they give you these little bitty plates so you can't get full so you go up and you get a second plate you go up and you get a third plate all right, so the bed bug gets sloppy when he starts to eat, and she'll fall off of you, and then she'll go and bite for a second bite, and then she'll go in for a third bite and a fourth bite until she's full, really full, and then she'll fall off, and she'll go, and she'll hide, and she'll lay eggs. That's the way bed bugs bite you. So you'll have more than one bite. If a mosquito gets caught underneath the covers with you, it will bite you over and over and over and over and over. Not necessarily because it wants to bite you over and over and over, but because it's stuck and it's trying to get out and it's panicking and so it's biting you more than it would normally would. And so you're getting a whole bunch of bites all in a row. Or if a mosquito gets caught in your elastic, like a flea or a mosquito, um, in like elastic of underwear or sweatpants or something like that, it'll bite you over and over and over. And it'll look like bed bug bites, but it's not. Um, another thing that a lot of people don't think about, and actually... In my line of work, I actually see a lot of people misdiagnose this bug problem are carpet beetles. Now, carpet beetles have a larval stage like flies or caterpillars like a butterfly. Um, and so what they'll do is the, the larva, the caterpillar version of the carpet beetle will crawl up over your skin and they'll come from the mattress, they'll come from sheets, they'll come from under the bed, they like dust particles, they like, uh, do you have problems with mice? They'll get into dead mouse carcasses in the wall, they breed and stuff like that. They really like dust because dust typically consists of skin cells and so they'll eat it. All right, so what happens is they will start living around your mattress and your box spring and they'll crawl up on you and their hairs are very agitative to the skin. Not everybody has a reaction from carpet beetles, but people who do typically have severe reactions, and it looks just like a bed bug bite. It'll be lots of little bitty bumps, like a rash almost, around one general area, and then when the carpet beetle, you know, falls off of you or the larva rolls off of you or whatever, like you roll over in the bed and it falls off, you still have marks from where this bug had crawled over you. So just because you have bed bug, just because you have bug bites and you're getting them when you sleep at night, doesn't mean you have bed bugs. Doesn't mean you don't have bed bugs, but it doesn't mean you do. If you don't find them, don't assume. Y'all have a real great day. Appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow.